Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing another film for you folks, yes sir. And this time around, it's going to be something in the lines of a murder mystery kind of a thing. Because I do want to review more of these kinds of movies. I am really do folks, I like these types of movies, these film noir. The one I'm going to be reviewing is this one right here folks, oh yeah. This is definitely a juicy one, yes sir, folks, because this is definitely one of my favorite genre of films. I do like film noir, folks, so I figured I would take this as an opportunity to review another film noir type of a movie. So I guess with that being said, as usual, let's get into the plot of it, shall we? Oh yeah, we get to see that and there is this nameless, ruthless man. Pretty much gave himself a nickname, so to speak, Mr. Big, whom is timing the minute of the arrival of two trucks, one of which is this armed car, routinely picking up bags containing lots of money from the bank itself, while the other truck does deliver a flower shop next door, so to speak. So yeah, this man, his timing shows that for a very few minutes, the schedule of both trucks coming around coincidentally parks them next to each other, so to speak. So yeah, he's chasing the armored car and it goes on from there. And now it sounds like I'm just talking about the little details in the beginning of the film, but some details like that will actually amount to the general story here, folks. So yeah, what I'm saying here, Details key. Of course, he selects three men for the gang. And uh, there's this addictive gambler, who is wanted for murderer, and then there's this gum chewing thug. And of course, the womanizing type of character has joined them. When interviewing them, he wears this particular mask. Well, all of them are wearing this particular mask, of course, so that if any of them gets caught by the police. They will not be able to de identify him if they get caught. So he has selected them specifically because each one has a reason for fleeing the United States of America. They will find a way to fit perfectly into Mr. Big's complex plan, which appears to be an ordinary robbery, but there's so much more to it than just meets the eye. So yeah, it gets pretty crazy. And of course, we see that things will continue to get more crazier as the film progresses. This is definitely one of those film noir films I would say that it's definitely worth watching folks. I did enjoy this film and it's a really good film folks. I honestly like this one. So it does have a pretty good story folks and so yeah I'd say this is definitely something I wouldn't mind watching again. I felt that the director of this particular movie had really done a great job or overall folks. The visual style of this movie is really good. I, they like the camera angles in which that really made the film look appealing. So yeah, the film does look like it had a lot of money put to it. When actually, the film itself is really, really low budget. It's super low budget, folks. So this film was actually cheaply made. But that's the thing. It's actually a good film, actually. There was plenty of uh, likable characters, or dislikable characters in this case. So the characters are pretty good, they're interesting in a way. So whether they're bad or good, they're still pretty interesting of course. So yeah, this film is about 90 minutes, so that that's pretty long I guess you can say folks. Resulting in a story that is allowed to breathe like any other entries of the genre. So I can say that the viewers who will take the time to watch this will actually be intrigued by this film folks. I mean, this film isn't exactly uh, flawless. There's a few things I can say they could, you know, fix up upon here and there. It does f feel maybe a little long. Maybe a few minutes could be taken away from it. But despite a few gripes against it, it's actually pretty good, actually. It's definitely a really well-made film, folks. So, yeah, this film actually benefits from having a slower pace because of the fact that it does allow the characters to shine through throughout the entire film, so I guess that's a good thing, folks. So yeah, some of the characters do feel a little uneven here and there, folks. And the whole mystery aspect of this film does wear a little thin as it goes. But other than a few grabs against the film, it's actually really good, folks. 
It's a top-notch film, folks. I can say it's really well made. Like I said before, this is cheaply made, folks. But by looking at the movie, you can't, you, you will not notice that it's cheaply made. So that's a good thing there. So I say this film it does have some great acting. I can tell that the actors and actresses were really trying to do their best to make a good film. In a lot of ways, they actually succeeded. This is a top-notch film, folks, with a great story, especially the lead character, folks. The lead character comes off three-dimensional, and yes, he's a flawed person, a very flawed person, a despicable person, but still, he does have a good backstory, like so many other characters as well. And I can say that the style, the look of the film, strikes a, a good balance with lots of great lighting techniques that was popularized in this particular genre. And that's the thing, folks, with the film noir f story, the um, lighting is, of course, very important, obviously. And I did like how this was done, of course. And the film as a whole was definitely really good. I like the style of the visuals. Yeah, folks, I can say that this definitely was a well-crafted film. And that's the thing, they don't make these movies like they used to. They really don't. Like I mentioned way earlier, folks, they really, really don't make these murder mysteries, film noir type movies like they did in the past. And, th and that's a shame because of the fact that I like this genre, I like these types of movies. I've seen quite a few of them, so I just thought I'd review another one. I do plan to review more of them in the future as soon as I can, I guess. So, yeah, folks, this is definitely, again, a high recommendation for me because it was honestly a well-made film as a whole. It has a good sense of direction, the lighting was good, and the way this film was made was well handled. And I liked how the camera angles were used. And the script, it, was, it has a pretty good script, folks, and I can say that the dialogue was definitely well written, and the delivery of the dialogue was also really well done as well, folks, so that's something. It doesn't come off half-baked at all, so yeah, the people who are involved in this particular project of theirs actually took it seriously, which of course is a plus. The director himself had shown that the this kind of a thing can be done even if the budget itself is pretty minuscule. So yeah, it can make a good movie, even if the budget itself is tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh boy. But still, folks, they were able to manage to make a good movie either way. So that's a good thing. Well, this film may not be for everybody because, well, it's not exactly the most fast-paced film ever made. It's not the most action-packed film ever. But that's fine, folks, because it does have a good enough material that was used in here, folks. So, I can say that this is one of those movies I can watch again, because I can see what they were trying to do here. And, uh, all in all, folks, this is definitely one of those film noirs that you can add to your movie collection, because as a whole, it's not that bad of a movie. I can say that this was not definitely not amateur hour. I know when it comes to low-budget films, I know they have the reputation of being just done in an amateurish kind of a way. So thankfully, this is not done in that particular matter. So yeah, folks, I say check it out. It gets an overall rating of a 7.5 out of 10. It gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya. Oh yeah.